uh, the, the technical integrity mm. and credibility of any election starts with the integrity of the voters register and whether it is internal elections in our political parties or it is the general elections that is where it starts from in my view the electoral commission is doing a good job i mean i have a lot of experience in in this regard so i understand what they are doing a good job but i think it is important for the electoral commission for the sake of ensuring the integrity of the elections to respond to the specific cases that have been identified about irregularities in the voters register and it go, only goes to enhance the credibility of the commission so you agree so that there so, should be an independent forensic audit yes it has to be there's no i i i'm not sure even why there should be a resistance to that because yes the electoral commission has indicated that they've responded to some of those comments but we have to put all reasonable to put doubt beyond any 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 that there's the need to have a credible voters register so if there's an indication that there are still doubts associated with the electoral register then let us allow an extensive comprehensive audit which can be done without any difficulty and i think it will help improve uh, people's perception of the credibility of the electoral commission look i know if you compare the record of our electoral commission in spite of all the negative comments that are made over the years our electoral commission uh, over the years has been one of the most credible in Africa. So let us, uh, uh, let us make sure that we are not degrading their reputation because that is also not good for, uh, for, for our general elections. But having said that, it is a responsibility of the Electoral Commission to prove that the Electoral Register is clean and has no basis for you know complaints and it's only through an audit that they should and I'm, I'm 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 very sure that all the political parties independent candidates uh, let's remember this is not just about political parties mm. you are yeah i am i am i am making a commitment to ensure that mm. ghana transitions into a new political era where for the first time mm. we have a non-partisan president and this is going to be a first in africa a non-partisan president of course and it won't be the first it but, won't be the in, first in, in, in but Berlin, they plan to in Berlin, yes. I, uh, unfortunately we have to go my guess in the